Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. It's great to be here again. This is Sam. So today we are on a session with Sam. Basically, what we do on a session is to look for great guys across the world doing great things, making the world proud, and trying to solve their problem, and at the same time making money by converting that into business. And the essence of this is for um, pick the license from it and use that into your own business. So we have a great a great man in the house, is the world kind of uh, nephologist in the world. And uh, it will amaze you that this man is an, is an African man, making African proud, making Nigeria particularly proud by using his skills, his acquired skills, to solve the greater problem of the world. And at the same time, running his own business and making some money for himself. So we're going to bring him online right now. We're going to bring him online now. Okay, welcome, doctor. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you, brother? Yeah, great. Great great to have you on exception with Sam. Great to have you. Thank you. It's nice having you. It's nice being here. Yeah, we appreciate all the great work you're doing. So because I know you're a very, very busy man, we are glad to have you and we appreciate you. So quick one, uh, how do you get to a point where you are able to be the first uh, cardio uh, nephologies in the world uh is it is it about your very your first class student intelligent man or is it about hard working or is that intentional we want to hear a story well thank you for the kind words uh, it's good to it's good to be here um you know i i, I never set out to uh to um you know be you know enemy first or anything like that you know, you know i just try to do the best that i can uh, I mean, anything that I put my mind to, and I try to, uh, you know, infuse passion into what I do. So basically, what happened was I was, you know, I wanted to, I didn't want to be a doctor initially, you know, I wanted to be an engineer. Uh, but my dad talked to me into being going into medicine eventually, which is what I did. And at some point, I wanted to be a heart specialist, I wanted to be a cardiologist, but I had so many adversities, and uh, people tried to, you know, stand in my way and things like that. And, um, Eventually, I, I became a nephrologist, you know, and eventually the, uh, the opportunity came back again for me to do cardiology, and uh, which was, you know, many more years, which is what wow. I did. So eventually, I ended up doing cardiology. So I didn't choose cardiology. Cardiology chose me. Uh, and, then, you know, and then eventually, I, you know, I, I was told that, you know, nobody had done this before, uh, done the full training and with the certifications and things like that. So I think it's an honor for me to to be named that. Uh, I don't focus on that really because for me it's just about what you do and not the names or the accolades or the recognition. It's what you do with that. Hmm. Great. That's amazing. That means you have to spend extra year to go back to to do those unnecessary things to get a second uh, professional certification. Yes, I did. I spent that's 10 what years. Called it, tell me. Yes, I did. I, I wow. spent 10 that's years in training, you know, after after my medical school, which is um, wow, probably the most that I've heard anybody has spent. So it's a lot of hard work and dedication, but I'm thankful to God for the wow. opportunity. That, wow, that is determination. That is the spirit of entrepreneurship, being able to get what you want, determined, not giving up. Oh, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. I hope a lot of people are learning from this great great man that we have him here quick one uh i at what point because you see i love what you're doing but we're going to come back to that uh i want to see at what point do you um transform into business that you have your own things and you, you begin to uh at what point were you at the point working for other people and uh, acquire some level of business skills or you went back to study business then you well, thank you for that question. I'll give you a progressive response to a conservative option. Um, I never went to school for business. You know, I think uh, business is, is is in all of us. We all we all have that innate ability. You know, uh, for me, I've always known that uh, I've always wanted to channel my own destiny. You know. Um, I've always wanted to be uh, the author of my own story because I know that, you know, uh, histories are not written by victims or by victors. 
So um, I did work on, you know, for a hospital for a couple of years, but after a while I realized that, you know, based on my unique uh, specialty combination, it was very difficult to do that when you're working with a hospital because typically they, they employ you for one specialty. And for you to be able to do the multiple specialties, it becomes a bit difficult. Uh, and also because there were a lot of more things that I wanted to do. And so I needed that um, autonomy, so to speak, uh, to do that. Because some things I wanted to do with patients and also with motivational um, uh, impact in people's lives, not just things that you do in the hospital, you know, things like that. You need to have time to be able to do that, you know, because you can be in the hospital and be in your clinic and just taking care of patients, uh, but you're not impacting the world globally. And for you to want to impact the world globally, you have to have time to do other things and uh, so for me, it was it was imperative that I go out, go out on my own to do that. So um, plus, I was also involved in the ministerial work in church, wow. uh, which was very difficult. You know, being in the hospital, uh, and being on call, and things like that. So basically, I just wanted to be in charge of my own time uh, and have a better lifestyle. You know, which is something you can do better when you have your own uh, your own business, and you can you know. Uh, I always tell people like you know. Uh, you have to be 